Right, this is a quick look at turbine wheel and uh, profiling. Um, this is one that's roughed out, so all I've done is I've cut it at an angle, 40 degree angle leading edge, and then I've ground it with one of these wheels like that. Keep moving it up and down so you get a bit of a more of a radius at the root. And you get a little bit of a curve. So at the moment I've still got that triangular shape because there's a 40 degree cut and then um, the trail energy is quite thick yet. So it's a good, that's a good start. We've just done the, the first bit. We've twisted it and, and took some of the weight off. Now wheel two As you see, what I've done, I've you've either got a file, make that leading edge straight right down to the bottom. You can either go down with a grinding wheel between them, uh, make sure you've cleaned out the root and the front of that edge is straight. And then when you've done that, you might have to grind the back of this file off if you've got to do with a file. You can you can rad this surface, get rid of that triangle a bit at the top. And you want to take it, you take them all to about a milli first, mine are all about a milli or millimetre. Um, and then I have twisted it a bit, and which has added more curve uh, with a pair of uh, bent pliers. So I've took some, I've t you, when it's still fairly thick, probably at this stage, this hasn't been twisted off yet, but it's still got the, it's got the 37, 36 degrees twist, but I'd untwisted a bit. And when you untwist it, it, it tends to bend this back edge down a bit and give you a rad. So you can you can try that. So like I say, you want to either with a, the file or uh, a slitting wheel, you can get down there, clear that root out, put your put your block on, then you know you've got the same depth. And then using this in the vise, you can you can put it in the vise, and you can you can file that off. Uh, or you can you can go in with a disc, abrasive disc, and get it that way. It depends which whatever way you fancy doing it. It doesn't really matter how you do it as long as you do it. But you've got it. They've got to be less than a milli at the widest point, and the the tips want to be about 0.3. So that's my shapes. It's, it's more like a. It's quite. I've put a bit more of a radius. We we're pulling that angle back, and um, it looks more like a blade profile now. You don't you don't want that. You want to get rid of that sharp top to it, because the airflow won't travel smoothly over the top. But you must take some of this twist off. Once you've twisted it to 37, you've got to untwist it. And while it's while it's fairly thick like this, you're probably better putting it back in your in your clamping setup and use your claw tool and and just try it untwisting them. Um, and they want to be untwisted quite a bit, 10 degrees or so. So at the moment they look like they're even coming up but they want to be twisted back again and that should lower your temperature. Also I tried tried swerging the two seven and a half milli holes. You can do it but it, like I said it was it, it gets very close. I drilled them six and a half and I swerged them out to seven and a half. Now it'll give less of an effect if you do it if you do it seven and then swage it out to seven and a half that might be better but again that will only work if you've already done it but you've got to be quite accurate with your holes because everything's that close on the it's perforated wheels it's nearly going to cut through okay 